thank you for your invitation. Um, what was driven me since I can think about was uh, curiosity, but also um, I always wanted to create something. So um, yeah, so I ended up first as a designer in school. I was thinking about studying biology, but then I ended up as a designer. Um, I studied fashion design and more and more I was thinking about the environment and I was using a lot of leather during my studies and um, which was also because my mother um, she was making um, fur coats so I've grown up with fur and with leather and I really um, liked this material but more and more I was thinking about um, yeah, where does it come from um, how is it made and I was looking for alternatives and this was the time during my um, fashion study when I stumbled about um, I stumbled over Susan Lee I don't know if you know those things um, it's um, kind of fashion made of kombucha leather I don't know if everybody of you knows kombucha it's um, now it's a little bit like wellness drink. Um, it's fermented by um, Acetobacter. So um, like bacteria, but also uh, like uh, some yeasts are in this culture. And when you gr grow it, you have like a thick um, skin on top of the liquid. And if you dry this, you have a material with, which feels a little bit like leather. Um, and I was really touched by this material because it's natural and it feels like leather a little bit and it is very unique, like leather, which is grown, which is unique. Um, this material is too. I'm sorry for the camera. So I'm back. Um, and this was the first point when I thought about how to combine um, my interest in design with my interest in biology. And um, then I studied creative direction, learning how to um, concept projects. And in this master thesis, which I wrote there, I used my, uh, the half year to really get in touch with this bacterial leather and this was the time when I also found this book, which became my personal Bible for a few years. Um, it's a book where a lot of um, projects are presented, which are in this field of biology, design, um, scientists. So it's really cool to see which projects are there during the whole uh, all over the whole world and this was for me um, the reason why I really didn't want to stop this um, first I had issues to find a job of course uh, there is no job or there was no job at this moment where you can do design and also biology together so I started a normal fashion design job um, but then there was this um, big fire in Bangladesh where a lot of people died, a lot of workers. And in the company where I was working at this moment, um, first everybody was shocked. But then at the same day um, when we get the news that um, yeah, we didn't produce our stuff there, so everybody went back to normal. And this was really hard for me to see because I still was shocked. So it could have been one of the um, um, one of the places where we produce our stuff. So um, this was the point when I knew for myself, so I don't want to work here anymore. And I want to focus on the things that really um, drive me. And yeah, so I found out about the Folkwang University of Arts they had this transdisciplinary program at this moment there. And so I had three years to focus on my topic. So the next three or four years, I was working with bacterial cellulose, with mycelium materials. So I had 
so free time and a free space where I really could do experiments, yeah, somewhere between the design and um, science. And this was the moment when I also started to work for the Fraunhofer Institute there. And um, yeah, it was a really good time because I felt how it was moving that we were different disciplines which were working together. And yeah, now I work there since 2014 now, first as a student, now really as a scientist. On paper, I work as a scientist, but I feel like uh, a buyer, designer, scientist, creative director. So um, I think there is no, no title for this job I really I'm doing. And um, yeah, so I'm always in the field of different people, different, um, different disciplines. And it's really good to see how they work together very well. So I also work for the, um, for the University of Arts in Bielefeld a few times. And there I see how the different disciplines of the university, which they have there, there's, there are designers, but there are also uh, engineers and they work together creating new projects. And I think there's so a lot which can grow out of this, um, this transdisciplinary work, which they are doing. And I, I really appreciate to see that it's more and more growing worldwide.